thank you. I hope I, well, I, thank you very much, Annie. I hope I don't uh, reiterate or run over any of the same things I was just talking about, because I, I, as I said, I was just complimenting some of that work uh, moments ago. And I feel really strongly about the work that the women are doing. We just recently had ROH final battle where Athena and Billy Starks tore the house down and time after time, Athena has done that on pay-per-view. Athena in Ring of Honor has been a great wrestler, a great champion, and it's somebody who's capable of having great matches in any promotion in the world and somebody I feel really, really strongly about. And then Billy Starks, of course, has had this amazing rise as an 18-year-old, now 19-year-old uh, star. And uh, I think Billy Starks is somebody who – has achieved so much in a really quick time and uh, really love the work I've done with them uh, and the work they've done together on ROH. And then talking about AEW and focusing on this Saturday, World's End, really very proud of Timeless Tony Storm. And, and as I said, uh, to have somebody that has become a great champion and is a great wrestler, but has also quickly become one of my personal favorite characters on television. And I think, uh, well, you know, it's, it's a true statistic that AEW fans um, have very desirable demographics in terms of uh, being uh, above the median uh, TV viewer in terms of uh, income and, uh, and often uh, various demographics that are desirable to advertisers. So, I think that uh, when you have one of the more highbrow characters in wrestling and you have something as unique as TCM is Ben Mankiewicz coming in and doing the introduction and giving it such a great effort and making it uh, a tremendous opening for Timeless Tony Storm. That's a great sign, in my opinion, and that TCM signs off and gives it their signature of approval with TCM being so prestigious. And, uh, of course, I mentioned Rio. Rio coming back uh, has always been a great wrestler for us. And whenever Rio is in America and in avail available to wrestle, I want to work her into the stories. And it was also why I felt strongly about the Outcast at the time being the ones to take out Rio, so that by the you know when Tony had had her transformation into Timeless Tony Storm, we could have this great championship match, and Rio would be back for revenge against Timeless Tony Storm to have this awesome match because Rio is somebody that has delivered at the box office for us time after time and always has great matches. And the crowd is behind. You heard that at Dynamite with the crowd chanting Rio, Rio. And then uh, talking about Julia Hart and Abaddon, uh, what a great TBS championship match. I think Julia Hart has become one of the most interesting champions in wrestling. And I'm very excited this Saturday about her match with Abaddon. And when it comes to Abaddon, they've come back to AEW in much better condition and become a great part of the show. And I was really excited about their segment. I thought it was a, a great, uh, a great way going into the pay-per-view to add some additional momentum into Abaddon, Julia Hart, which has been building for weeks and is a, a very exciting story. People are, like I said, excited, to see Abaddon again, they've come back to AEW in great condition, and uh, it's somebody with a lot of potential, and I think Abaddon would be a great TBS champion, and they'll be facing a great TBS champion in Julia Hart, who has stepped up and done so well in this box so far, and that's a match I'm really excited about, and then speaking of Julia Hart, it's something to keep an eye on now with Julia Hart's budding relationship with Sky Blue, which has been building for months. That story has been something to follow. That's in a great place. And then, of course, that all led to an exciting return also for Thunder Rosa, stepping out of the commentary desk, returning to the ring. So there's so many exciting things happening. And, and you mentioned some of the other great stars, Soraya and Ruby. Uh, interesting to follow what's next for them. And Harley, uh, maybe they're taking on a personal assistant. A lot of other great stars in the division, former world champions like Hikaru Shida and Nyla Rose, and a lot of other great wrestlers. Um, and last night, I thought Chris Statlander, Sky Blue, was an excellent match. Chris Statlander, really excited about her. She's been a great TBS champion. Uh, and now something to follow, I think, uh, is 
Chris Statlander and Willow. I think they are great friends, and I think that would be a great one-on-one match to see. And then uh, I think Willow in particular has had an amazing year, winning the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament and uh, had a great match with Athena, tore the house down. And then we've seen Willow also tear the house down recently, speaking of Willow and Chris Statlander, against Mercedes and Diamante on collision in the street fight. So, so many great names, so many great fights happening in the women's division, which is in, I think, the strongest place it's been. And imagine how much better it's going to get because I plan uh, to be very active in free agency. And we have great names coming back like Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, and Jamie Hayter, great world champion who was the top star in the division at the time she was injured and certainly going back to Wembley Stadium, London this year. That's going to be so huge for us, potentially getting Jamie Hayter back in the division, which I believe right now is in the strongest place it's ever been. And when we get those big stars back, and uh, if I am as active in free agency as I have the ability to be, then I think things can get really exciting. Thank you.